Jesus' grace doesn't just pardon you of your sin. It doesn't just forgive you. It doesn't just give you a reconciled relationship with God. Jesus' grace also opens your eyes that, so that you see the truth. I'm not talking just physically. I'm talking spiritually. You come alive to what is actually true. The Bible's true. Jesus is the Savior. Jesus is the King. Jesus is the Worthy One. So friends, if you see Jesus as valuable, if you see that Jesus is the true one, He is the way, He is the truth, He is the life, if you see that the Scripture is what God has given us to reveal Himself to us and what we should obey and follow, if you see that, praise God. It's because Jesus' grace gave that to you. It's because Jesus came and opened your eyes to the truth. Are your eyes open? Do you see Jesus for who He is? Do you value Jesus? If not, pray. If you're sitting there and you just don't really care what's going on right now, you're tuning out, you're checking your Facebook, you're tweeting, you don't really care to hear about Jesus, you don't really desire Jesus, pray. Pray for God to open your eyes to the beauty of Jesus. And if you do see Jesus as valuable, if you do see him as infinitely worthy, praise God, thank him that he has caused your eyes to come open. That you have eyes to see the truth. You have ears to hear the truth. That's due to his grace. The next thing we see here, and this is is the end of our passage for today, that then he arose and was baptized. And taking food, he was strengthened. For some days, he was with the disciples at Damascus. In the New Testament, there is no Christian who's not baptized. Baptism does not save you, but you are baptized if you're saved. This is just true. We see this throughout the entire scripture. Baptism is something that we do. It's water that you are submersed in, and it's a picture of Jesus' life, Jesus' death, Jesus' resurrection to save you. And once you come to faith in Jesus, once your eyes open, your heart attaches to the finished work of Jesus in your place, you are to be baptized as an outer witness of something that has happened inside. I believed on Jesus. He's my Savior. So baptism has that significance, that it shows Jesus' life, death, and resurrection. But in in Romans chapter 6, Paul also says, It's significant of our new birth. It also shows that we were once dead in our sin, but then we came to life in Jesus. We have an inner change. Our heart is changed. The old is gone. The new has come. Our new self has come alive in Jesus. So friends, what you need to understand and what you need to thank God for is that we're not just pardoned. We're not just, you know, have this legal status in his family, but our eyes are open to the truth. And our heart changes so that we actually love the truth. Jesus' grace opens eyes and changes hearts. That's why at one point in your life, you can look back and you could, if you were honest, you would say, I didn't really desire Jesus. I desired Jesus to be a means to my end. I desired Jesus maybe for certain things he could give me. I knew I should desire Jesus. But then at some point, I don't know when it started. Some of you may be due to the day I started desiring Him. It's because Jesus opens your eyes to the truth and He changes your heart so that you love the truth. And baptism is a symbol of that. Jesus' life, death, resurrection, but also our spiritual death and resurrection. And we come alive and we have a new heart that loves Him. This is what happened with Saul. And this is why it's not just some vision Saul had or some personal experience. And then he's like, man, that was cool. I saw Jesus. I'll live my whole life for him just because I saw him that one time. And it was like, whoa, that was a bright light. No, his eyes were open to the truth and his heart started to love the truth because Jesus worked in him and through him. Do you love Jesus? Have you had an experience with Jesus' grace? Have you seen him for who he is? And do you love him for who he is? Have you been confronted with your sin? Have you also been comforted with Jesus' cross? Have you been reconciled to God through faith in Jesus? Have you been redeemed? Have you 
started using your gifts and talents to serve Jesus and to serve his people, to help more people meet him and more people be loved? Have your eyes opened and has your heart been changed? I pray to God that if it hasn't, that that would happen now. That as you're sitting there, as you're hearing about the glory of Jesus, that scales, something like scales would fall from your eyes spiritually and you would see him and you would trust him. And those of you Christians, I want you to be comforted. I want you to realize that if you're in Christ, your heart's changed. And I think a lot of us struggle and sometimes maybe even thinks like, am I even changed that much? I still sin all the time. I still fail. I still stumble. I, st- I still hate what I do. Friends, if you hate your sin, that's evidence that your heart has been changed. I, I don't want you to think that like, man, if my heart's truly been changed, I'm never going to sin again. It's not true. You're being sanctified. You're being set apart. You're not yet perfectly righteous. You're counted righteous, but you're not yet functionally righteous. But I, I want you to be comforted that if you hate your sin, the reason that your sin ticks you off so bad, the reason that you grieve over it and that you hate it and you don't want to do what you keep doing is because your heart's been changed. It's because you love Jesus now more than your sin, because you want to serve Jesus more than you just want to walk in darkness. So I want you to see and not, not think like, I'm not who I should be. You're exactly who you should be. Jesus' grace If he has come in, confronted you, comforted you, reconciled you, redeemed you, opened your eyes, changed your heart, he's your king. So continue to repent of sin, but continue to praise him for the fact that you even know you're sinning. Continue to praise him for the fact that you even don't want to sin. That's evidence that he's changed your heart. He's working on you, and he's going to keep working on you. He's going to keep giving you grace.